Dawkins thinks that Charles Darwin's theory of biological evolution has given a good explanation for the latter stages of that process, for the origin of biological complexity and humanity, given that life exists. But he's very candid that we have no idea of how life originated on this planet around 4 billion years ago. Um, he just says that Darwin's success ought to give us confidence that there is an explanation and that, that we will find it. But that's a false comparison because these are completely different fields of science. Uh, Darwinian evolution concerns biology and biochemistry. The origin of life has nothing to do with that. It is organic chemistry, that is to say carbon-based chemistry. And the challenge there is to explain how inanimate, lifeless chemicals can come to life and how the first cell could originate. And honestly, I, again, in doing my systematic philosophical theology, I did an excursus on the origin and evolution of life and what I found is that the consensus, the prevailing view among origin of life researchers today is that we have virtually no understanding, despite millions of dollars and thousands of man hours invested in this research. We have really next to no idea how life originated on this planet. Uh, in fact, Dawkins, in one of his books, makes a very candid statement. He said that our understanding of the origin of life has not advanced, essentially, since the time of Charles Darwin in 1859. Wow. Now, that's, wow. that's an incredible statement, because that would include all the experiments done by Stanley Miller and synthesizing amino acids and so forth that, that was uh, done back in the 50s. Really, those have bottomed out. They've not led anywhere. So this is a huge problem. And in the search for answers, origin of life researchers have tried to turn to outer space. If it's so improbable that it would originate here, maybe it would originate someplace else in the universe and then be brought here on comets or meteors or uh, asteroid collisions. Uh, and so they are searching the the residue of these um, uh, extraterrestrial bodies, looking for what are called biological signatures, uh, traces of life that could have come here, and none have been found. There's there's no signs of life on any of these uh, interplanetary bodies, planetary bodies that, that come to Earth. So it, it just remains a mystery. Now, on top of that, neither have scientists working in the laboratory under highly artificial conditions been able to synthesize even the macromolecules that are necessary for the formation of life. Things like uh, polynucleotides, DNA and RNA, so this is one of the greatest mysteries uh, in science waiting to be resolved.